hi guys welcome to today's youtube video in today's video we will be going over bitcoin ethereum also we will be taking a quick look at the dxy chart in which we all know that is extremely important for the development of the price of bitcoin so first of all let's start off with bitcoin we can see bitcoin is still moving in this range over here after we have seen this impulsive move towards the upside we can also see that on lower term time frames last night during the asia session we did get a nice pump towards the upside we all know we should never ever trust an asia pump especially not if the london session over here starts holding if it does there's a high chance of new york reversing the asia move so that is the first sign of weakness inside of this range we can also see that bitcoin over here pumped into resistance we pumped into the golden pocket area of resistance over here where we have the highest amount of volume and also we pumped into the golden pocket over here as we can see okay so bitcoin is right now against very strong resistance also we can say that if we take the parallel channel uh, i can actually do it like this that bitcoin is also trading against super important resistance based on this trend line but we are trading inside of this parallel channel which is definitely a valid parallel channel as we can see also the mid level is getting respected beautifully so bitcoin pumped during the asia session into key resistance so signs of a weakness would be if asia started holding maybe takes out this high over here takes out the next high as well in which we would trade potential long positions and potential breakout traders also we would stop out people that have their stop loss above this high already in which there would also be a bearish sign so if the uh, london session starts moving sideways maybe it sweeps a few highs we are looking at a potential distribution area over here after this impulsive move towards the upside in that case if bitcoin starts to break down from the distribution range during the new york session we are looking at a high probability of visiting lower levels okay a lot of people are right now calling for the 21 and a half k 22 and a half k uh, key resistance area uh, the area of resistance that i have been talking about for a while so this resistance area everybody's talking about bitcoin going towards this area of resistance before visiting new lows i started talking about the resistance area already two weeks ago but right now everyone is talking about the resistance area which is making me think we might actually not go there so we are looking at a potential po3 play over here for bitcoin so if the first range over here potential manipulation range over here in which if we get a breakdown out of this range we are looking at a potential expansion towards the downside okay so that is the first po3 play that we are potentially looking at if we get a breakdown out of the current range i am looking at the first area of resistance over here for bitcoin which will be around 19.6 to 19.2k over here and that area will determine if we visit new lows because if we lose this area over here i do expect us to get a quick acceleration towards the downside if we test this area and it holds strong as support i am looking at maybe then a last exit pump towards the key resistance area or getting rejected and visiting new lows okay so that is the max pain scenario in my opinion because every single big trader is right now calling for that key re reversal territory to get hit before we visit new lows so that is why i'm thinking maybe we go down from here instead of going up first before going down okay so lower time frames wait for the london session to develop wait for potential signs of distribution before we go down to new levels ethereum looking quite similar to bitcoin also still trading in this range after this impulsive move towards the upside and we can also see that ethereum is potentially looking at a potential head and shoulders pattern okay so we are looking at the left shoulder over here head over here and potentially the right shoulder is being formed as we all know i don't like to trade breakouts out of patterns but it is a good sign of weakness over here for ethereum okay so definitely something to keep an eye on also we created 
this big wick over here for Ethereum, which is right now getting filled with this pump towards the upside. Also, Ethereum pumped during the Asia session. If London starts holding, be very careful for a potential New York reversal play, guys. For Ethereum, I'm looking at two potential areas of support. The first one will be the 0.5 Fibonacci level of retracement right here, around $1,421. The second one will be the key support area around $1,370 towards $1,325. If this area gets lost, I'm expecting new lows for Ethereum, okay? <coughs> so Ethereum looking quite similar to Bitcoin, maybe even a little weaker because we are creating this potential head and shoulders pattern. But as I always tell you guys, don't create a pattern, try to anticipate a potential pattern. So what you could be anticipating is a potential lower high over here, enter a short position over here, your stop loss above here, and then wait for this support area to get tested. Okay, so that is a potential short position that you could be looking at for Ethereum. So both Ethereum and Bitcoin, you have to be careful today. These are looking as potential exit pumps, looking at potential distribution areas before visiting lower levels, in my opinion. Okay, so be careful here. Two potential scenarios. First one would be to get a breakdown out of this manipulation area. Get a breakdown, visit lower levels, and the second uh, scenario would be to get a move towards the upside, load up shorts in this massive area of resistance, and then go towards new lows. So two potential scenarios that I'm looking at for both Bitcoin and Ethereum today. We gotta be careful since Asia session pumped. The XY chart also looking very strong. Okay, so right now it's looking like it is having a pullback, but also in the daily time frame you can see. It didn't create a wick towards the upside. So we are looking at a potential early pullback in which a New York session could still pump it towards the upside, guys. DXY near key resistance, in my opinion. So we have a trend line area of resistance. And we have also a high section area of resistance. If it breaks through this key area of resistance and flips it for support, I am expecting higher levels for DXY that be considered extremely bearish for Bitcoin and Ethereum and crypto in general, of course. Okay, guys, I want to warn you guys, don't get too excited here near key resistance for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Be careful. Try to take profits on your long positions, on your spot positions, because altcoins are popping and pumping left and right. But these are looking like straight up exit pumps. This is looking like a straight up bull trap forming on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yes, we can go a little higher first towards a key reversal territory, in which I've shared a big swing short position on my Twitter, free Discord, and also my free Telegram group, which you can use to make some good profits. If we get a breakdown from here, this key support area over here will decide if we go higher first before we go down. But if we lose this area over here, I am expecting new lows for the Bitcoin price. Okay, so very clear update in my opinion. The two scenarios are very clear that you should be looking at so trade with care use correct risk management also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel also make sure to like the youtube video and then i will see you guys on monday again peace